A phenomenal day to everyone. I hope you're all ready to witness the much-awaited announcement of the final 30 for the Miss Universe Philippines 2021. I am Nico Lobo and I will be hosting this special event. Of course, I won't be doing this alone because I am joined by an equally phenomenal woman as well. The Miss Universe Philippines 2020 fourth runner-up, Billy Hackinson. <laughs> Hi there, Nico. And hello to all our viewers watching on YouTube. I can feel your excitement for today's announcement. At the end of our program, only 30 ladies remain and would advance to the final 30. This year, Miss Universe Philippines decided to do things a little differently. Being responsive to the times, the screenings were done virtually. So the applicants could do it from their hometowns and not have to fly to Manila. It has been quite a journey for these delegates. Just a little over a month ago, there were 100 official delegates who went through the initial headshot and introduction video challenges. Again, these were virtual challenges that many of you have probably seen and voted on. And then they became 75. These delegates underwent two of the most talked about and watched challenges. First was the runway video challenge that thrilled pageant fans with the outstanding productions and, of course, fabulous runway walks. We also have to talk about the casting video challenge. It was really refreshing to see the natural beauties of these women. I enjoyed this very much and hope that it continues to be part of the yearly competition. It was their chance to impress the panelists with their personalities before making the final 30. Right, Billy? Yes, Nico. I remembered how it was during my time. Standing in front of the judges prepared me for the unexpected, and that for me is an experience I've been using to my advantage up to now. Beauty queens are incredibly sharp, oh intelligent, gosh. confident, poised, and unbelievably good at expressing themselves. And that's what this challenge was all about. I couldn't agree more with you, Billy. It took over a month to get here, and in less than a month, a new queen will be crowned. If you want to witness this unfold, subscribe to the Miss Universe Philippines Season Pass on ktx.ph and get exclusive access to the preliminary interview competition, the preliminary swimsuit, and evening gown. And of course, the Miss Universe Philippines Finals. That's right, Nico. There will be exclusive content that will be shown only on the ktx.ph show, which they won't see on the TV airing. It's definitely going to be worth their while subscribing to the Season Pass. In choosing the final 30, a group of panelists chose 27 delegates based on their performances in Ooh. all the challenges. The fan votes from the previous challenges were not factored into the selection. Completing the final 30, the delegates who garnered the three highest votes through the fan votes cast between August 22 to August 31 on the Miss Universe Philippines app automatically advanced. Billy, let's not keep everyone waiting. Folks, here's how it all works. We will be announcing the final 30 in three batches of 10. In every batch, we will announce nine lucky delegates who have advanced to the final 30. Then we will announce one of the three delegates who automatically advance. We would like to remind everyone that the delegates who make it through because of the fan votes doesn't mean that they couldn't have made it on their own merit. Pageants are very unpredictable in nature. No matter how prepared the delegates try to be, Sometimes not everything works in their favor during the performance. So, if casual fans have a favorite they want to see advance, the fan vote is a way to secure a spot for her, just in case something unfavorable happens. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the first set of 10 delegates who made it to the final ah! 30 of Miss Universe Philippines 2021. These are in random order. First on the list is... Congratulations, Grace Charmaine Banua Mendiola from Negros Oriental. Binda. Ladies and gentlemen, our next delegate to enter the final 30 is... Vinci Lebaran Bacalares from Cagayan de Oro City. Let's give a warm round of applause for... Nolan Rose of Buhay Campus, representing Antique. Our next finalist is... 
Rosanne Marie Burnham from San Juan City. Next up is, congratulations, Maria Corazon Avalos, representing Mandaluya. Our next finalist is, Janela Joy Quaton from Albay. Congratulations to our next finalist, Kesha Pornam Ramachandran from Iloilo City. Ooh, our next finalist is, congratulations, Maria Ingrid Teresita P. Santa Maria from Paranaque. Ladies and gentlemen, our next finalist to enter the final 30 is, Isabella Jasmine A. Umali, representing Manila. And for the final delegate, one of the lucky delegates voted for by the fans is Maureen Crystal Robowitz, Pangasinan. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, and then a Kayo for the next 10 phenomenal women, one of whom may be the next Miss Universe. And then a Kame. <laughs> Here they are in random order. The first delegate making it into the final 30 is Princess Krista Singh Pasek. Next up, we have Jedaida Hefeldes Corinihana from Davao del Sur. Our next phenomenal woman is none other than Jan Luis Abajero Reina Mercedes Isabella. Our next phenomenal woman is Laren May Bautista Laguna. The Rana Moving on, we have Jane Nicole M. Mignano from Blanc. Next up, we have Chrysaline May B. Valencia, Davao Occidental. Moving on, we have Michelle Angela Navarro Ocal, Shargao Island, Surigao del Norte. Perfect. Our next inspiring finalist is Megan Julia Roa Digal from Bukidnon. Oh, perfect. Ganda. Our next finalist is Beatrice Luigi Gomez, Cebu City. Ganda ng And for the final delegate, one of the lucky delegates voted for by the fans is Kisses? Kirsten Daniel Delevingne from Masbato. Alamo Billy, seeing those delegates who advance through fan votes just affirms how much Filipino pageant fans go to support their favorites. I've been living in the Philippines for mga six years now. One of the things I noticed immediately is how Filipinos really, really, really love pageants. In fact, I'm friends with some beauty queens and I know firsthand how much love and support their fans give them, whether in the national or international stage. You are absolutely right, Nico. These women are very lucky to have such loving support. But I know that with only 10 slots remaining, our viewers are getting anxious. Okay, Billy. Let's make 10 more women and thousands of pageant fans happy. Here are the 10 inspiring young women who will complete the final 30. In random order, we have... Victoria Velasquez Vincent from Cavite. VVV! Ladies and gentlemen, our next finalist is... Chela Grace Falconer, representing the Samis Oriental. Next up is, let's give a big congratulations for Joanna Marie Rabe from Zambaya. Next up is, big round of applause for Katrina Dimarana. Ah! Oh, Katrina! Our next finalist is, Giselle Abelio from Atlanta. Mm. This is it, Nico. Just five more to go. Next up is Mirhan S. Hippolito Ooh, from wow. Angeles City. Let us all congratulate. Good job. Yvonne Ortega from Davao City. Wow. 
our next phenomenal Ito na lang. is Isabel de los Santos from Makati. Our next finalist is Congratulations, Simone Medine Bonilla from Barinduque. Baka si Ayn yung ano, no? guys counting? That's 29 women. Our third fan vote winner completing the final 30. Steffi. Is Steffi Rose Aberastri from Cebu Province. Ooh. There you have it. The final 30 for Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Don't forget to subscribe to the season pass of Miss Universe Philippines on ktx.ph to get exclusive access and content for the preliminary interviews, preliminary swimsuit, and evening gown. And the all-important Miss Universe Philippines finals on September 25th. Thank you everyone for joining us and congratulations to the final 30 official delegates. Welcome to the Miss Universe Philippines Sisterhood. This has been Billy Hamilton. And this has been the one and only Nico Loco. It was a pleasure hosting this fabulous event. Po, Nico Loco. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay. Maraming salamat din po, Nico Loco.